All right, I'm going to teach you how to play Cut Your Hair by Pavement. It's pretty straightforward, uh, pretty easy chords. I'm going to play it and sing it for you first, and then I'll break it down for you afterwards. So here we go. Darling, don't you go and cut your hair. Do you think it's going to make him change? I'm just a boy with a new haircut, and that's a pretty nice haircut. Charge it like a puzzle, get me wearing muzzles, hesitate. Great song, really easy song too. It's really just a D chord, a C, a G, and an E minor, and those chords uh, just repeat themselves in that progression over and over again. So a D, one finger on the third string, second fret, third finger on the second string on the third fret, and two finger on the first string, second fret. You're strumming from the fourth string down. And then the strumming pattern is So each chord gets four down strokes and you're sort of palm muting as you're playing those chords. So basically my um, the palm of my hand is hitting the bridge of my guitar right where the strings meet the instrument. So if I were to lay my palm there it has like the staccato type of nice and open so and then at the end of each chord you, I'm kind of doing like a triplet type thing and to slow it down even more it'd be like Uh, C chord, the way that I'm playing it is um, two finger on the fifth string on the third fret. That's the A string. Then your one finger is on the fourth string on the second fret. So we're going from a D, and then my pinky goes onto the um, first string on the third uh, fret. So it goes from D, and then pinky goes onto that third fret. Third finger stays there, and then the other two fingers go to the rest of that C chord. And then for the G chord, you're bringing your t one and your two fingers up again. So from the fifth and fourth string to the sixth and fifth string. That's a really easy way to transition between your C and your G chord. So C, you're strumming from the fifth. G, you're strumming from the sixth. Then, of course, we go to that E minor. So the third and the fourth fingers stay where they're at. Your one finger goes on to the second fret of the fifth string, and your two finger goes on to the second fret of the fourth string. Okay? The other thing that I wanted to mention was uh, just to break up a little bit of the simplicity of the song and put some dynamics, I played this, those same chords on the uh, fifth fret position. So a D chord on the fifth fret, strumming from the fourth string down still. Your one finger is on the fifth fret, pinky and third finger are both on the seventh frets. Okay, so you have 
five, seven, seven, and then open D string. And then the uh, C chord would be thumb on the eighth fret of the of your E string on top there. <clears throat> Third and fourth fingers on the tenth frets. One finger on the eighth fret again of the B string. Right, that's my C. Playing a G, take your third and your fourth finger and bring them up a string each. So now you have 10, 10, and then on the bottom strings you have seven with your one finger on the first string and uh, eight with your two finger on that B string. Okay. Then that E minor would be bringing your third and fourth finger down to the seventh fret and your one finger on the fifth fret of the um, D string. So that sounds like Thanks for watching.